morning to Kaylee. Good morning to Madeline and Chloe. What? Oh, Rapunzel. I'm sorry. Good morning to Abby. Hi. Um, the RV is probably looking a little bit somewhat different today. Probably not that much different. Mommy, guess what I can only For example, we've got a toy chest on our dining table, which has been turned into a bed instead of a table. Because today is moving day! Woohoo! Just kidding. Nobody likes moving day. I stand corrected. Kaylee has assured me that she enjoys moving day. I'm not sure why, because she spends most of the day in the car while we're running around setting stuff up. So today is the day that we are picking up our RV and we are moving it to a new park. Now we're not moving that far away. It's really like 20, 30 minutes away from where we are. Um, but, so it's, it's not that long of a move. However, well, there's a lot of stuff that goes into moving an RV. It's not just as simple. Some people, it's just as simple as hooking up and going. Um, but when you have a big RV like this or an RV that has slides, we have five slides. We are 42 and a half feet. It takes a little bit of effort. So for example, you can't have stuff sitting out on your counters. We're gonna be driving around. Those things are gonna fall off. You can't have things in certain areas. So anything that you see in our RV that has like this big thick border, those are slides. So this is a slide. And this is a slide. There's two slides in the kids' bedroom. And then the master bedroom, the bed, is on a slide, which means that these all come in. So if you're new to the RV world, a slide is where they basically come in. So like this is a slide right here. Whenever I pull it in, it will make the outside of the RV right here. This is the slide right here. So this part is going to come in to touch this wall. And this since that's happening, all has to come in and it pretty much gets like this close to the island. A lot of people have checklists and processes and everything that they follow for this. We are a real family, so when you when you go on YouTube and you see those, you know, RV families that make life look perfect and it's flawless and everything goes right all the time. So if you're somebody who follows a bunch of people on YouTube where their life looks super glamorous and they're living in their RV and everything's perfect and everybody is always happy hunky-dory all the time and nothing ever goes wrong, yeah, that's not us. We are a real family living in an RV with three kids and two dogs and this is our life. I don't have a checklist. It is chaos. I probably should have a checklist or process or something, but it's just chaos. We have three kids. Even if I go to do something, whatever I do number one on the checklist, I'm going to have to go back and do it at the end because the kids are probably going to ruin it. So I just kind of do what I can where I can. So for example, right now they're playing in the back of the RV. So I was working on the front of the RV. Things like that. Are you ready to move? Yeah. You know what? The new park we're going to has a kiddie pool. Oh, you're beautiful. Woo! Can you spin for us? Spin. Wow, look at you. Good job, Kay. So we have things in the kids' room, like their toy chest is usually right here, and then we've got the princess castle, which is usually right here. But this slide, which I currently have all of this stuff here piled up with a tension rod because this is a good space to just throw stuff. So right now it's really chaotic because we're moving. So I just threw things up there, a tension rod here so that that stuff can't move. And then anything on these walls has to move because the slide comes in the whole way to this wall. So anything past this wall here would get crushed by the slide or would either break the slide if the slide doesn't break it. So really understanding your RV and utilizing all of your space when you're moving is something that's really, really super important. So what we do is we change our dinette into the bed and then I put the kids toy chest here and their toys, like it doesn't take up this whole space. So it's really easy to take other things and put it in there and it's secure. And this doesn't move. We've never had an issue with this moving. I will put like a pillow because this slide comes the whole way up to this wall pretty much. I will put like a pillow in there or something in case it does move, but usually like, we haven't had any issues. But then also, since this has been turned into a table, there's also extra room underneath. So I've got some appliances like our ice maker. This is our Ninja air fryer. We've got the kids advent calendars or some other stuff, shoes back there. And then also we have some drawers, which you probably can't see there. There's a drawer there that goes underneath. And in the back, the back seat back here, which is under this now, um, has a lot of their like homeschooling stuff in there. So all this whole bench 
is storage and now I've got stuff underneath of it and stuff on top of it. We've got stuff the side here that I can still put things if I need to. Now what's really good too is like with our counter, we've got an island here. Obviously the slide can't go past the counter so this space that's right here where our trash can is, our trash can will go here and then we have a portable dishwasher that will also go here. They're heavy. I've never had an issue with them moving. Again, I'll put like blankets and stuff around them if I have to. So that's easy. Once we move all of our slides in, this area here from the TV stand to the counter right here, that's all open into the door and everything. That's all open. So what we're going to do is we have a dog gate. We're going to take the dog gate down. We're going to show, like, put it in here. And then we've got some um, strollers. And we're going to put the strollers on top. So this, this whole area here is just a place where we can throw stuff. And that's stuff that's outside. It's easy to just keep the door open, throw it in here, shut the door, lock it, and go. So that's kind of going to be like the last thing. If you are somebody who's going to need a checklist, let me tell you a really important thing. You want to make sure that the cabinets or closets or anything that comes with a little lock here is done. If you're going down the road and you forget to do this and you take a sharp turn and this flies open, you're going to be in for some damage, especially in your bathroom. If your bathroom is like our bathroom, you have a glass door and we have this that comes up and over. So we have to like push this in really hard and then push this down. Now, even though that's that's a thing, I do recommend putting like towels or something down here because I've seen a lot of people who said somehow that comes latch, unlatched and their glass shower door slides open and they've come back to this whole panel just being shattered in their bathroom. We don't want that. So I'm putting some towels here as well. And then I've also just thrown all of our shampoo bottles on the ground. I don't really care if they move around, but I'm just leaving them there like that. Now, when we bought our RV, this is the bathroom door. It came with this piece missing. So this is one of those hooks that I was telling you about, but it came missing and they shipped it to us like that. Somehow it didn't damage anything. But what I will do is I'll take the pillows like so, and I'll just throw the pillows right here like this pile them up really well and then that way this door I mean right now it can because there's not very many pillows but when I get all the pillows up that door can't move and it stays shut never been an issue another really big major thing that you want to check especially if you have kids or dogs with smaller toys or even if you just I don't know you're into Legos or something I don't know you want to make sure that there's no anything that's gonna block your slides or get stuck under your slides so our slides the carpet lifts up here um, this one does not lift up. So I know that there can't be anything under here. I always vacuum along this. I did it once, but we have dogs, so you know. Um, but you want to make sure that there's nothing stuck under your slides. Because if you have a toy or something and the slide comes out and catches on it, it can either damage your floor under here or when you're taking the slide back out, if it's catching a toy or anything, a shoe, something, and it gets stuck here, coming out where the slide meets like the inside of the RV, you're gonna do some damage. So that's something that we check all the slides for. We check them as we're putting everything away and I go around and I check them one more time before I pull the slides in. When we pull the slides in, I have the kids outside in the car so that they can't get stuck in a the slide. They're not running through the RV where I'm gonna crush them in a the slide. They're not under a slide outside where I'm gonna like pinch something if they get their hands stuck in it, you know, anything like that. The kids are in the car, strapped in the car when we pull the slides in so we're not hurting anyone. All right, so next up on our list is I'm gonna start getting the stuff outside. So we do have this dog fence. We have this awesome, um, we actually got a couple of them, awesome rugs that Amanda from My Frugal Family came over and gave us. We've got a few toys out here, just things like, here's the strollers and stuff under there. So we kind of just have things like laying around that really just shouldn't be there. We need to get like, get on, um, you know, putting them away. But anyway, so we're gonna do that um, and get this all sorted out so that once the kids get out and I pull the slides in, I can just, throw all that stuff in there. All right, it's a little bit dark in here because I turned all the lights off, but we're to the point now where we're gonna start pulling in the slide. So everybody is out in the car except for me. Um, and we're kinda, we still have a few things sitting around here and there, um, but we're gonna be pulling the slides in now. Our slides, we've got a few different things here. So up here are our slides. Um, one side does one side of the RV, the other side does the other side of the RV. Really, it was super confusing to figure out what does what. 
mark them, label them for yourselves so that you, uh, you know, you don't drive yourself nuts. So then in our master bedroom for this slide, it's right here on the wall, which gets a little bit dangerous because the kids can hit it. So there's been a few times where they've tried to close the slide, kind of scary. But anyway, they say in, out. We're just gonna push it up so it says in and the slide is going to move. It creaks, it crackles, it's terrifying. It does all kinds of bizarre things that you really don't want it to do, but that's normal. Um, you're gonna hear it like crunch in a little bit. That's kind of the gear is telling me that it's in the whole way. Again, if that happens, don't worry about it. It'll bang. It says, like, makes noise. See that noise? That's it telling me that it's in the whole way. So I've got the slides in now. Now I'm gonna secure like the, the stuff that you see here. I'm gonna go ahead and secure all of that. I do wanna say we switched from a king size bed to a queen size bed. So if you're, you know, you won't have this wood sticking out. We just switched over. We haven't had time to cut off the extra bits. Um, that just gives us more room in here. Cause as you guys can tell, this is pretty tight. So this always ends up looking a little bit crazy. Danny's chair fits right in there. I have like a pillow between it and the wall just in case. His um, computer monitors are down there. Since I've got pillows on this side of the door, I put some stuff behind it and then just a few other things. And if they move around, it's okay. Nothing's crazy gonna happen. So now we get to turn the lights off and I get to crawl on the bed because those lights were on and the lights for those are in the slide. Okay, boom, there, done. All right, so next up, you're not gonna be able to see it for a little while, but we're pulling in the slide in the girls' room. So you can kind of see it moving in there now. And that's where Evie sleeps. And it's gonna be the same thing. So it comes in and then it's gonna make that crunchy sound. Here it comes. Okay. Then the next one is the other side. Now you won't be able to see it. So I'm gonna pull it in a little bit and then I'll go over there so you can see. So it's, you know, a little bit in right now. You can see right here, it's starting to come in. This one, we don't have a lot of room. So what I am gonna do is I'm going to move the TV from here. This TV was like the cheapo, nobody cares what happens to it kind of TV. So I'm just gonna throw it there. It's always been fine, but we can throw like a pillow or um, like a blanket, like right here in case it moves back and forth, like so, ta-da. And then we're gonna keep bringing in this slide, which is full of junk because <laughs> that's what I do when we move. Again, this is real life. We are not faking the glamorous RV lifestyle. This is really what it's like. I keep going. Oh, okay, never mind. I keep going back to check it because it didn't sound like it was going in the whole way, but as you can hear, it's in now. So that was just one little click away from it being in. And let me show you what it looks like when it's in. So now this one is in and you can see there's not a lot of room between these two things, but in the event that you need more space, there's actually a ton of space here. I mean, to most people, this probably doesn't look like a ton of space, but if you're moving and you're living in an RV, this space is like mammoth. It's huge because you can fit like clothes here. You can fit toys here. I mean, there's tons of things that you can do here. Now, one thing I do want to say, which you can probably see over there, um, also the slide, I don't know if you guys can tell the slide, like, it's at an angle, so I don't know if you can see here. So if you're a slide, like you put it in, and it's not like straight up and down, most times that's normal. Um, the floor like tilts up. You can see it's not flat or flush with the ground. So this side is going to be higher up than this side, which is going to make it appear as if your slide is tilted. I'm not sure how well that comes off on camera. But anyway, I was going to tell you guys, the doors, you wanna make sure they're closed. So right now, if I were to pull this slide in with the door open, I mean, it might work okay, but it's gonna hit the door. And so that's one of the things I almost did that one time. I didn't even like, I was just started pulling slides in and I was like, oh yeah, the door. And you just, you wanna have your doors shut so they're not like, woo, all over the place when you're moving. So there it is, right there. So right now I'm going to be pulling in the first kitchen slide or the only kitchen slide really. I mean, this is a kitchen and that's a living room, but you know what I'm saying. This is the one that has a refrigerator on it. You can see it going in from the outside and in from the inside. So here we go. And you'll see it almost touches. Almost, 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 almost. Boom. So you can see how close it is. Now most models come with latches. Right here you can see there's these two things here and the previous owners lost this latch but because it's so close to the um, to the 
island I don't worry about it so the reason I put this slide in first was because we had that dishwasher that I showed you there and now that this is pulled in I know how far back I can push this dishwasher so that this slide doesn't hit it and I know that it can't go further than this so as long as it's behind the counter I know it can't hit that and now I can bring this slide in and this is our final slide before we are done inside for the most part we still have stuff outside that we're gonna be putting in this space like I was telling you about and that's coming up next now this is the final slide and this is also the largest slide so I'm waiting for the day that this doesn't work I'm terrified someday that this is just not gonna go out or something's gonna go wrong and we're gonna be stuck with this teeny tiny itty bitty little kitchen because the slide comes in so far there's not a whole lot of room once it's in we're gonna wait for that crunching sound there it is so that is in and this is what it looks like in here when all of the slides are in I have all the lights turned off all the doors are shut which is important because we don't want them flapping around I'm gonna turn off this final light all right so now everything is done you can see this dripping that's from our air conditioner which uh, we have a battery backup so the air conditioner will probably stay on and it also allows us for about uh, 12 hours of backup on our refrigerator and our freezer so I know that we'll be good for that okay so now we're all disconnected everything is turned off I um, switched our propane off I've got our electric cable here which we put in the back of the truck and our water which we put in the back of the truck I just kind of have it draining out a little bit um, that way it's not gonna flood things in there and then the only other thing is we have to use a um, drill like a power drill to get some of our stabilizers up also once we pull out the RV I'm gonna be picking up all these gloves they were um, they were stuck in here in a box and the box blew over in a storm and they all blew out under here and I'm not crawling under to get them until we uh, Till we get the RV out, so then I'm gonna get them. But anyway, our stabilizers, um, we put them down, and then up in here, there's a little, um, like a screw in there that turns the motor. This does have auto stabilizing, but it, uh, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> I have to use the power drill to get them up most of the time. The ones in the front, however, do work. So when we lift this up and down onto the truck, it'll be totally fine. Um, they'll work great for us. We just, once we're done, we have to get those ones up as well. So in our underbelly storage, we have this little guy right here, and this is our leveling. Now, like I mentioned before, our auto leveling doesn't work. Um, so if I go to use it, it just says error, LF jack issue. Uh, we do plan on getting it fixed. We bought it this way. Um, however, we have this button here, and that is to retract. So if I hit retract in front, the whole front of the RV, you're probably not gonna be able to see super well, but you can hear it. The front of the RV goes down. If I hit the retract button again, and that light goes off, and I hit front, you can hear it raising the RV up um, and it's supposed to do the same thing for over here um, but let's see if I do retract and I do right you can see see how that one's lifting up not all of them do that though so um, this one will work but I believe yeah this one back here does not lift up and then also the one I believe back there I believe the back two don't work and but these two will go up so that's good, but uh, the back two don't. So I have to use this, like I was showing you before. This is the drill bit that we have to use to make the uh, stabilizers go up and down. And we are going to be using those, not necessarily those stabilizers, but these two in the front is how we're gonna lower it up and down into our truck. All right guys, it's later. We just got done grocery shopping. We survived, barely survive moving the RV again. It was always chaotic, always insane moving an RV, but we're here, so I don't have everything set up yet. I didn't really film the process of us getting here and all that stuff because it's just undoing what you already saw on the vlog, but now I got lots of organizing to do. Sad kids to help. So we have all of our slides out and now there's just stuff everywhere and sometimes I feel like getting situated after moving is more difficult than trying to get everything ready to move. I don't know why, but the process of getting everything and putting it back where it was supposed to after I've already moved it on the same day, because <laughs> you do like, you know, you move everything at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day you gotta move it all back or you gotta move it all back another day. I'd rather just like have it be ready. So like we pull in, open up the slides and just everything is done but that's not how this is so now 
we've got to organize everything. So that's what I'm going to do here. But hopefully our moving vlog has helped out somebody in some way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can you say hit the thumbs up button? I feel good now. You feel good now? Okay. Hit thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. A Pokemon shoes? What? A Pokemon shoes. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Bye.